presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obi, has finally spoken on how he intends to handle rising insecurity in the country. Obi disclosed that he will decisively handle insecurity by ensuring that effective individuals are appointed to head the nation's security agencies. He disclosed that he would sack non-performing service chiefs during his tenure as president. In the allegation levied against Peter Obi by the Kaduna State Governor Nasir El Rufai, emerged evidence exonerate the accused. Remember, El Rufai claimed that Peter Obi in 2013 arrested and detained him. No fewer than 5,000 bishops, primates, and imams under the ages of interfaith allegiance have declared their support for the Labour Party presidential candidate Peter Obi ahead of the 2023 general elections. President Muhammad Buhari, in the course of the week, assured that the promised national carrier will commence flight operations on or before December this year. The president gave the assurance at the third ministerial performance review retreat in Abuja. According to him, the establishment of the national carrier for Nigeria is a 91% completion, saying that the feat is being boosted with the certification of Lagos and Abuja International Airports by the International Civil Aviation Organization. He said Kanu and Portakot Airports are undergoing similar certification processes. The United States Embassy in Nigeria has raised the alarm over alleged plans by terrorists to stage an attack in Abuja. Governor of Weber State, Yesom Wikim, has revealed why he removed the picture of the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Abubakar Atiku, from the River State campaign poster. Wikim revealed this while speaking at the inauguration of River State PDP campaign council on Monday. He claimed that Atiku picked those he wanted to work with in River State without seeking his contribution. Wiki said that he would only campaign for people who have asked him to do so and that Atiku has not asked him to campaign for him. The presidential candidate of the All Progressives Congress, Paul Atenobo, has declared that he would devote 100% of his time and energy to serving Nigerians if elected. This was as the former Lagos State Governor mocked the presidential candidate of the PDP, Atiku Abubakar, pledging that he would not be a part-time president that would spend 50% of his time ruling the country from Dubai. Nollywood actor and politician Kenneth Okonkwo has claimed that some members of the All Progressives Congress steal public funds to be able to buy the party's nomination forms to contest for political positions. Do you think Wiki is right?